Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at importing Trimble Business Center files. I've started a survey just called Trimble Business Center. It doesn't have any data in it, so just a, a blank survey at, at this point, so no points. But I want to come up here to the survey information and show you that we have um, established a coordinate reference system, in this case, NAD83, Oregon South. We've chosen the uh, GRS80 for our ellipsoid. And then we've gone into our project factors and said we're at 2,800 feet for the overall project elevation, and we've put in a combined factor. Now, we could let Traverse BC compute the appropriate distance factors based on this elevation, or I'll show you in a moment um, uh, this combined factor comes into play uh, when we choose to convert coordinates on the import. So let's go ahead and OK that. And uh, let's go ahead and pull in some of this data. I'm going to choose File, Import. We read the Trimble Business Center uh, files uh, as ASCII. Let's go to the settings. And um, I'm just going to do a couple of things here. I'm going to tell Traverse PC to convert coordinates. I'm going to come in and choose a Trimble Business Center format that I saved just a little earlier. And all that does is tell me, tell the import that I've got a point label a uh, uh, latitude, a longitude, and a description in there for each point. And uh, let's go ahead and OK that. Let's go ahead and browse to that file. And uh, I've got an export from Trimble Business Center for this project in Latin Long. And I've got an export uh, from Trimble Business Center that gives me the state plane coordinates. So I have both of these. and We're going to use them both in this video. So let's tell it we want to import this. I'm going to preview it real quick. And we can see that I've got oh, about almost 40 points here. And for each point, I've got the point label. I've got the latitude. And Trimble uses this lowercase d right here to delineate degrees. And then I've got the longitude, minus being west, and again, the little d to delineate the degrees. And I don't have anything following it, so no uh, ellipsoid height, uh, no description. Pretty, pretty plain Jane here. Let's go ahead and import this. We turned on the details, so after Traverse BC tells us it imported 39 points, we can come in and look at the message view, and we can see uh, exactly how it went about during the import. And then we can see we've got a latitude and longitude for each point that came in, height is zero. If we come over to our points, we see that Traverse BC converted or transformed those uh, lats and longs into coordinates. We certainly could come in and display those if we wanted to with um, by adding a couple extra letters. And now we'd see our latitude, our longitude. I guess we don't need descriptions because we don't have any there, just like we brought in from the file. Now, what I want to do next here real quick, just to kind of confirm a, a couple of things uh, for everybody, is that I want to import that same state plane coordinate uh, file right over the top of the latitude and longitude. And it's going to do a couple things for us. It's going to identify that uh, Traverse BC transformed these coordinates properly as far as uh, Trimble is concerned. And I want to want you to see how it handles uh, the elevations here. Um, and, and I want to talk about those elevations real quickly. We brought in a latitude and longitude, but we didn't have any ellipsoid height. When we bring in the state plane coordinates, Traverse BC is actually going to come in and look at our survey information and say, if you give me a coordinate that doesn't have an elevation, uh, I'm going to assign it the project elevation. So I'm going to put that point at the project elevation. And we're going to see that in just a moment when we import it. So let's go File, Import. This time, we're also bringing in an ASCII file, but it has a different format. So I'm going to recall this format called My ASCII, and it's going to bring in a northern easting elevation description. So let's go ahead and tell Traverse BC to browse to that file. Here's the state plane coordinate file. And I just want to preview this real quick so you can see it. So again, here's the point label. This time we have the state plane coordinates instead of the latitude and longitude. And again, no elevation or description over here. So let's go back to our settings then. And we can see that we're expecting an elevation and a description. If I don't want to read elevations at all, 
I can take the Z out of there. And I'll just tell it that after I read the northing and easting, look for a description. However, if I leave the Z in there and I don't get an elevation, Traverse BC will automatically put that point at the elevation of the project, 2,800 square feet. So that says this option becomes pretty important when an imported point matches an existing point. So I've already got a point at these coordinate positions, but their elevations are all zero. So what I'm going to expect Traverse BC to do is say, hey, I found a point that matches X and Y uh, in the label, but I'm going to update the elevation because I said use the existing point but update it. And then I don't want to do any conversion on these coordinates because I want to compare Trimble's coordinates with Traverse PC's coordinates. Again, I'll put on details so we can see what happens for each point that comes in. So we've got our file, we've got our format. Let's hit import. And Traverse BC, again, imported 39 points. And uh, I can go to the message view and see what it actually did. So in the message view, this is where I imported all the lats and longs. This is where I did my next import. Okay, it gives me the date and the time. And then look what it did for each point. Let's just focus on point one here for a moment. It says, I found an existing survey point with a matching label. The coordinates didn't, didn't match exactly because the elevations were off. So based on my selection in the settings, it said, go ahead and update those coordinates. So it updated from this Y, X, and Z to this Y, X, and Z. Notice the northing and easting are identical. It's just updating the elevation. And then it tells me, finally, I ended up with point one with this description and this coordinate position. It's going to do the same thing for point two, point 2020A, 2020B, right on down the line. Okay, So now these points are going to be the same points, but at project elevation of 2,800 square feet. And, and really, you're going to find out pretty quickly that um, this whole elevation thing is kind of your choice. I don't have to automatically put these at 2,800 feet. I could also go back to the latitudes and longitudes that I imported and simply translate them to 2,800 square feet. So it's really totally up to you how you want to um, uh, do that. Now, I just want to make sure that I've got these uh, updated here properly. Let's just refresh this view. There we go. Just had to refresh it so I had my latitude and longitude displayed. OK, so we walked you through importing. Uh, geodetic positions from Trimble Business Center. Uh, then we compared the Traverse PC's uh, coordinates that it computed ver ver via the transformation in the uh, state, uh, state plane coordinate system with the Trimble's coordinates. And they were identical, uh, except we translated the uh, elevations to the project elevation when we imported the coordinates.